Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. You're not going to reg regret it. And we are going to have a wonderful time on my channel. And if you're an old subscriber, welcome back. I'm glad that you're here again. And today I'm going to talk about revolution baking oil. So if you want to see what I think about it and how I like to use it and the ways I don't like using it, then keep on watching. And my hair looks like a disaster today, but don't mind. I have a very bad hair day today. Okay, when I saw this oil on the website, uh, revolutionbeauty.com, it's called now, it was 10 Beauty then. I ordered it because of the name. It says baking oil. So my first thought it was, oh, this is going to be good under makeup when you want to bake under the eyes. And that's how I tried to use it a couple of times because I do have, well, I do like baking. It takes away my pores completely when I do that. But uh, most of the times I look dry under the eyes and my uh, smile lines get very visible and I don't like that. So I'm avoiding baking a lot. I saw this oil and I thought maybe it will make it look less cakey and less dry. So uh, I tried it. I tried it to use it as a moisturizer before the foundation. Kind of didn't work. It, it did look nice, but I looked so oily. Oily after a couple of hours. It was, yeah, it did look good. Then I tried to mix it with primers, mattifying primers. That didn't work either. And I know I watched a couple of videos where people do really like it under the makeup under, as a primer. But for me, for some reason, it just didn't work. It didn't work. I love this oil. It smells wonderful. I love the smell. It smells kind of citrusy, uh, and it's it, it's like a it's, it's hard to say. It's like a dry oil. And I mean, I really, really like how it smells, and I like how it feels on my skin. It looks it feels fresh and doesn't feel very oily. So I do like that. But it didn't work under my makeup. And it looks like I haven't used it, but I did use it a lot, I promise. And then I tried to mix it with uh, my foundations that I kind of stopped using because they look too cakey and too heavy on my skin. And the foundation that I really liked, enjoyed using it, it was this Marc Jacobs foundation, uh, Remarkable, that I kind of liked in the beginning, but it made me look so dry and cakey after a couple of hours. It was, It is too heavy, it's full coverage. So the way, the way I like to use it is that I put a couple of drops of this foundation and a couple of drops of oil and mix those together and apply it on my skin. Uh, I have to say uh, it looks wonderful. This foundation works for me couple, for at least 10-11 hours before it starts breaking. And I, am, I have been using it for a couple of weeks and I've been trying out with a couple of foundation. Now I don't like using it under this foundation. This is Revolution Stick Foundation. I love this foundation. Love it. I use it all the time and I used a lot of it. Do love this foundation. But doesn't really work for my skin, my combo skin, with this. You can't mix it. That's not possible. Uh, I did try to put it under this over. It made my foundation just slit around and move and look patchy and didn't look good. Then I try to blend it together with the foundation, you know, put it on my skin and then a couple of drops and blend it together on my face. Didn't really work out that way either. But the way I like using it is together with this kind of foundation, the heavy foundations that I have. This is also Rebecca Stella, all about that base. I really love this foundation. This works wonderful on my skin. But mixing it together with this also made, made it look more healthy and less matte. And I do like matte foundations, but I kind of like how it looks together with this dry oil too. I say dry oil because it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel very oily. I love the smell. It smells almost like lemon. I like it. I'm going to show you guys how I mix this together, how it really looks on my skin, so you can uh, get idea. If you want to see how I mix this together, how they look on my skin, then keep on watching. I'm going to shake this foundation. This is liquidy. Here. It's 
So I already primed my skin. I did use uh, this primer. This is Hangover Primer from uh, Too Faced and uh, all over my skin. And I also used uh, this primer. This is Pore Primer Revolution Pro around on my nose where I have big pores. And I did do my, filled in my eyebrows also. So I'm prepped and primed and ready for foundation. So what I like to do is uh, using my plastic thing where I mix my products, products. And I'm going to take a couple of drops of that foundation. Um, kind of don't like this thing. So hard to take out the product. You don't have to have a lot of the product, but I just want to show you guys. This, I really hate the packaging of this foundation though. It's very expensive and you just, it looks very messy. Let me show you. It looks very messy. I don't like the packaging at all, but it is what it is. So then I'm going to take a couple of drops of this oil. One, two, three. I will take one more, four drops. And then we're going to mix it together. Now you don't have to put uh, as many drops as I did if you want to try it, mixing it with your foundation. But I ju just want to show you how it looks. Uh, you can maybe take one or two drops. I'm going to use this sponge. This is a flower beauty sponge. And I actually got it in box swap that I did with my wonderful friend, uh, Valerie. I'm going to put her channel down below and video link to that video or card to that video up here. And actually she, she's my best friend on YouTube and she has guys a, a giveaway going on. So I'm going to put that on her channel. So I'm going to put link down below in my inscription box. Go check it out, enter the giveaway. Not going to get it. A, there are some beautiful, wonderful products that she put in that giveaway. So. Uh, to continue with this review, I'm going to take this foundation. I'm going to waste it. So, waste it. So, I'm going to put this sponge and <coughs> you see, heavy, and work it in my skin. You still get a lot of the coverage, but it's not as heavy and cakey as it looked without the oil. It doesn't look as dry. And I know. Uh, my sister didn't like this foundation my, on me when I didn't have the oil. And last, when I was trying it out with the oil, she asked me, what kind of foundation do you look, have on your skin? It looks flawless. And then I said, Marc Jacobs. And she was like, is that the, the one you didn't like? <laughs> yes, it was. But I did like it with this oil. And that's good. I found, did find a way to use that expensive foundation. I really don't want to throw away. And I did say that I'm going to a couple of times. Every time I go for that bottle to throw it away or give it away, uh, I kind of regret. Oh, I love this sponge. It's hard to use it with a um, concealer because, because it, it's a little bit uh, big, but I do, do like it. And this is how the foundation looks. I don't know if you can see it, but it looks very nice and smooth on my skin. Looks much better than it did without the oil. So that's the way I like using this oil. I don't like using it just under my foundation. It kind of it makes me look more oily, oily and shiny. If you, I don't know if you can see, this is a very mattifying foundation, but with this oil, it doesn't look that matte. It has a nice glow to it and I kind of like it. So I'm going to take some concealer. Oh, yep, the, this is light. Mm -hmm. Don't mind. This is light. It's supposed to be light. So I'm going to blend it. I'm going to set everything with this powder, Revolution Pro Powder. Now you can choose to bake. I'm not going to do that. And this doesn't uh, make me look very, how to say, cakey and dry. And after maybe one or two hours, when this foundation sinks into my skin and blends nice with my skin oil, uh, it looks beautiful. 
So I'm happy that I can use this foundation again because I like the coverage. And it feels very light on the skin. This foundation feels very light on the skin. And that's also a thing that I really like and also a thing why I didn't reason, why I didn't give it away or throw it away because, or I didn't get rid of this foundation. It's because uh, it feels very light on my skin. So I'm going to finish my makeup and I'll be right back. I just uh, finished filming this makeup look with a palette uh, that was very popular on the YouTube but people stopped talking about or, st or stopped using it on their channels and I started a series with the uh, makeup looks with palettes that people forgot about and this is the first makeup look so I don't know if this video is going to be up before that one or yeah I, I don't really know so Subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell if you want to get notified when I upload my videos. Back to this oil. This is how I like using that oil and my makeup look flawless. It looks very nice, full coverage. I really like this oil. I don't feel like I have makeup on my skin and that's wonderful. That doesn't happen very often. And I'll right now in love again with this foundation and I really love this oil. Like I said, I don't like using it under my primer or as a primer, it does make my foundation slip around, move, look cakey and get very oily during the day. But mixing with the foundation for some reason, that works. So guys, I hope you like this video. Give a thumbs up if you did like it. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video. Bye.